Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot. Difficulty level is hard and I'm going to give you 8 shots in how to crush this version of the golden shot. Make sure you do subscribe to this channel to get all the features and the content here on YouTube. Click the button in the bottom right corner. Also go to golfclashtommy.com for more golf clash related content for free. Last but not least, you can get the best tour and tournament text guides on the market by going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link directly in the description down below. Before we go into the video and take a look at all the shots, I made a promotional video for another, for another game that is absolutely awesome. So please, take a look. Hey guys and gals, this segment of the video is sponsored by Tennis Clash, a new mobile game which has provided me with a lot of fun in the last couple of weeks. My absolute favorite game mode is the practice mode because there I can practice on my serve, my volley, my backhand, my forehand and be ready to go into one versus one game where you play against other players around the world live. So you have up to tour number 8 and obviously in the game you do have different type of leagues, you do have different type of tournaments, you also have the possibility to have a different, you know, have different characters with customizable clothing and looks which I feel makes your character more living and maybe you're gonna get it to look a little bit like yourself. The game itself is not hard to understand, but really hard to master. I've been playing uh, quite a few games to be able to provide you with some gameplay. <laughs> but before you judge me, please try out yourself. It's free to play and I put a link in the description down below, which makes it easy for you to try it out. Using my link down below in the video description will give you 200 gems and 500 gold as a welcome package. Good luck and I will see you in the arena. So let's take a look at the version of the golden shot and we're gonna play one of the Shiruba Springs and this one is not as easy as it looks. I have been looking into both a rough bump and a bounce up and I determined directly that the rough bump is not gonna be anything for myself and the reason for that is that we will be in between clubs with tailwind and also if we do hit a great ball, if we play in headwind or crosswind, it's Bye bye. So therefore, we do have a way where we are placing our target on the fairway to bounce over towards the pin. First and foremost, let's take a look what we can win. And as always, in the hard version of the Golden Shot, we can win Berserker Balls. And that is something that is very valuable in today's game. Because we will come into situations where we will be needed to go with more power. That's just how it's going to be. If you do hit an hole in one, you get the Obsidian Chest. Then we do have the Amber Chest for the, for the Yellow Ring. We do have Crimson Chest for the Red Ring. We do have the Aqua Chest for the light blue ring and then would you have cobalt chest for the dark blue ring and as you can see you win cards you also win berserker ball in every chest so for those of you looking to stock up with berserker this is a good chance we are going to play with the golden long iron maximum distance plus a 30 1.4 per ring but to make it even more simplified for you we do have the vpr table on the right hand side where you see the wind on the left column and then the rings on the right column follow that and you're gonna have a much better effect and then going by feel Press the question mark on the top right to get to the frequently asked the questions about the golden shot. If you do have an issue or you experience an error, then you press contact us and you send in a ticket to the Golf Clash support. So let's take a look at the landing position and the landing position is going to be a simple one. First and foremost, I will recommend you to zoom in a far bit. And the reason for that is then you can see it easier and that you can see that club emblem or whatever club logo or whatever that is not going to be in your way because you're looking for three things left side of the red ring by the sand yellow ring to the left by the rough and the right side of the white ring to the rough on the right and then you may be wondering wouldn't that be many different spots that had the same type of outcome. No, it does not. I actually timed out on, on a shot to look for that. But as we're using three references, there's only one spot where we have the rings positioned in the way 
we have now you do not have to add spin before you take your shot you don't have to wait either you do what you feel comfortable with because our only focus is to go with the rings so now we are going to take a look at the videos there's eight of them with different type of wins and i've been choosing amongst many other videos to be able to provide you with the best possible content so we can learn there is no point in giving you six videos with a hole in one with the same type of wind you know there is no point so let's go into the first shot and take a look now we do have almost a straight headwind we do have a little angle headwind and the way we're looking at the wind is from when we are looking at from the pins direction okay so from the pin back and you can see here that we do have a little southeast in terms of wind i'm using two bars of left spin half a bar of top spin and here once again i'm using the references with the landing position adjustment for 5.1 is 3.6 rings and when we're gonna take our shot here now, you can see here that I'm going with curl. I'm going with left side halfway into the adjustment ring on the left. And I'm gonna explain when you're gonna do that and why we're gonna do that as well. Now you can see we missed to the left, unfortunately. This is a little bit too much curl when it comes to almost a dead on straight headwind. So why do we use curl here then? It's because we do not have side spin enough to kick the ball enough to the left. So we do need to use the curl to kick our ball to the left, but that is only with a straight wind or with a wind coming left to right. So you will notice that here as well. First, looking for land landing position, see what mistake I'm doing here now. Look at the logo of the club. That is just completely in the way for me to see the right side of the white ring, which makes putting the landing position together much harder, okay? Two bars of side spin to the left, I'm using in this case half a bar of back spin where you have wind coming left to right, more or less like a northeast type of wind. 6.6 .6 gives us a 4.7 rings. And you can see here that I go with the ball halfway into the adjustment ring there to the left. And you can see here we hit a lot to the right there. And you need to have in mind here one thing though. The reason we missed to the right is because I misadjust. I adjust one ring too little. So in the end, why did I do that? I don't know. But if you count the rings, I didn't adjust enough. I adjusted 3.6, where we should be in that case adjust for 4.7. Now we still got some berserker balls, but the important with that video was to see the speed. So we did have half a bar of backspin, two bar side spin to the left. Speed was absolutely perfect. Now, okay, let's get it together. Now we do have a little bit of angled tailwind here. Now we're looking once again for the left side of the red ring uh, and then the yellow ring as well, combined with the uh, with the white ring to the right. We're using one bar of backspin, two bars of side spin to the left. Adjustment 6.1 gives us in this case 4.3 wing, uh, 4.3 rings, not wings. Now you can see here that I'm in the end. I'm not using much curl but i'm using a click of curl you can see that i'm just touching the inside arrows to the left with my ball it bounces and it comes down nicely towards the pin and looking at it now we should need a little bit more a little bit more just a tiny tiny click more uh even we would have been in a very nice spot amber chest is in the book and we get it we get from thorn we get the claw and when they get the razor we do get castaway and last but not least we get some berserker balls let's go to shot number four now we do have a southeast wind 6.7 and now we're looking for once again see here now that i zoom in way more than i did at the first shot this to just take away the logo of the ball there using 0 0.2 top spin Two bars of left spin, 6.7 gives me an adjustment of 4.7, not the 3.6 we adjusted for basically the same type of wind earlier. Now, curl, you can see here that I'm going with the ball to be all like just by the edge there of the adjustment ring to the left. Bounces nicely on the fairway and we come down towards the pin area and very very close Have in mind though that this was not like a direct crosswind here We need to have that in mind and also have the part in mind that using curl is hard to use the same type of curl all the time and that is the tricky part with this version of the golden shot but unfortunately we do need to have that to be able to play at the same spot with whatever wind we're having 
Sure, I could give you three different type of spots on the fairway to play with for various type of wind, but that would just be a mess and we would struggle more than it would help. Then we use curl as a last resort. 5.4 wind, we find the landing position, again as already talked about. Then we're gonna apply spin, two left spin, and I'm using in this case 0.8 bars of the back spin. 5.4 miles per hour gives us a total of 3.8 rings. So we use the top of the ball, or at least I do, use the top of the ball and then we're gonna go with curl and you can see here that when we do have a northeast wind I'm going with the ball halfway through there and we like this line though we like the line the problem is is that we have too much backspin and the thing that happens there is that the ball will come more left with more backspin because it will not be affected by the push to the right that much so what half a bar of backspin the curl brilliant and you know in the end then the direction would have sorted itself now three more shots to go and we go to uh, the shot number five and we do have in this case once again you see how i zoom in to find the position a red ring by the sand yellow ring by the rough white ring to the right by the rough as well two bars of left spin i'm using in this case one bar of backspin that look like that should be maybe a little bit too much. Uh, I hope I did 0.8. I actually did have had a hard time to see that. I do want to have 0.8 though, which you will see in the guide. 5.6 gives us four rings in total. Perfect ball. Not using any curl here. And the ball bounces nicely down. Come on, get in then. Get in. Oh my. Can it get any closer? Honestly, can we get any closer? So <laughs> that we're not using any curl when wind coming right to left though, and that was just unlucky. The, and the next time, hopefully we're gonna get it. Big topper, we do have Houdini, all, almost maxed out, Rapier, and then we have Berserker Balls. Last but not least, we have two shots left to go. Southeast type of wind, fine. Uh, fine. First, uh, we find the position, okay. Start by looking at the rings here and then we add spin. So 0 0.2 top spin, two bars of left spin, 6.5 miles per hour gives us a total of 4.6 rings. So we do adjust the 4.6, then it's time to take our shot, but we're gonna add curl. Ball, left side of the ball, halfway through the adjustment ring to the left if we do have more uh, headwind than we have crosswind now when we do have more crosswind than we do have headwind we need to move to the you know left side of the ball to be just by the outside and that what may that's what makes us getting the hole in one otherwise we would have missed to the right lovely get some bones and we get the obsidian chest here down in one we do have the jung list and then we do have skewer and then we do have hornet and last but not least some berserker balls real crap chest to be honest oh then we do have that one to the side we move it to the right there obviously and go with the final shot here and we do have the right side of the white ring by the rough and again you, you know the position by now 6.8 we have a direct cross ring right to left so what we're gonna do here now 0 0.2 backspin we have 1.8 side spin to the left so this is the only time we really are reducing from two bars of side spin to the left 6.8 gives us a total of 4.8 rings no curl when the wind comes right to left here and it's Time to take our shot. Perfect ball. And we see this ball bounce very nicely on the fairway. We love how it turns around. Can it roll to the pin now then? Beautiful. Right that pin for a lovely hole in one. So get some booms in the shot. We got it. We got it. Nice. This was two of actually more hole in ones than I was expecting. But once again, I show, choose videos to demonstrate different type of wins to make it easier for ourselves to get locked in with various type of wind because we don't know what wind it is. A tip though is to watch the flag uh, before you take your shot because if you look at the flag you will see the flag blowing in a di in a specific direction and that is the direction you will have your wind in as well in that way you can get a couple of extra seconds to prepare yourself for the shot that you are going to play so let's take a look at the text guide here may made as always based on my videos by tony richardson 
for us all make sure you go over to tony's channel and subscribe you do have the link to his channel in the description down below this guide you can find in in the description as well below you can also in that case find it on goldflashtommy.com for free obviously and also posted in various type of communities first and foremost when it comes to the text guide you can see that there is different colors here you can see that the curl pictures has three different colors and you see at the where the spin is there is three different colors as well and those all comes together so when it comes to red it goes together with red so the curl and spin with red all goes together and the reason we do this is to simplify it even more for you so you know which picture to look at so you don't have to rush it because it's tough to find the time to follow everything when it comes to the golden shot so landing position red by sand to the left yellow by rough on the left white by rough on the right three spots to look at zoom in enough so you don't have the struggle with having the club in your way spin if we start with headwind we have 0.8 back, sorry tailwind we start with 0.8 backspin two bars of left spin with direct tailwind wind coming left to right tailwind 0.3 backspin two bars of left spin wind coming right to left with tailwind 0.8 backspin two bars of left spin and the reason there is a difference there with backspin is because when we have wind coming left to right we do pull back into the bunker and therefore we will lose distance and we bounce further back and therefore we need less backspin otherwise we will go short to pin Crosswind, direct crosswind coming left to right, no top spin or backspin, two bars of left spin. And then we do have 0.2 backspin, 1.8 left spin, wind coming right to left. Same there, we drop down into the bunker with left to right type of wind. And then we need to reduce compared to if we do have the wind coming right to left. Headwind coming left to right, half a bar of top spin, two bars of left spin. Wind coming right to left with headwind, 0.3 top spin, two bars of left spin. And then we do have direct headwind, 0.5 top spin with two bars of left spin. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this guide and tutorial for the Golden Shot. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit thumbs up before you go. If you do have any questions, let me know at support at goldclashtommy.com. And please, make sure you comment with your result of the Golden Shot as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Golden Shot and your Gold Clash game.